Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new setup. <laughs> I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm super nervous actually. I've never had such an elaborate setup in my life, thanks to Jake Sitlani, my brother, who came in and just did this just glorious setup. I'm gonna show it to you. And that panel light, we have the mic, we have an overhead light. We've got a screen, a 50mm lens, and that's the makeup I'm going to use today. But this is the setup, isn't it? So crazy. So that's the setup. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to still figure out the mic situation. I'm feeling slightly uncomfortable because I'm not used to such a professional setup. I usually just use one light and one camera. So it's a little different. Um, I definitely wanted to reduce my tech and get like natural lighting and all, but I don't think that's me. I think I really love a good high def video and I'm sure you guys enjoy it as well. But yeah, this is my first video with the setup so please be kind but definitely leave your comments down below watch the entire video and tell me if you can see the makeup correctly what do you want more do you want more close-up shot can you see the performance of the makeup because that's something i always like struggle with when it comes to performance of makeup right when i sit in front of the natural light it's too yellow and the sun keeps going in and out which just changes the quality of the video and also dulls down the video which i didn't like i tried it can you see the makeup do you love Let let me know down below. Even my background is not fully, fully done. It's still, you know, work in progress, but I could not wait for so long. I was like, this is also kind of okay. For today's video, I'm gonna do this makeup look right here. There are a bunch of makeup products I received in PR and I haven't tried it before. So some I've tried, some I've not tried. I really wanted to put to the test. Um, there is some sugar foundation, there is moody moisturizer, we have some Kiro lipsticks, we've got iconic mascara, so we have a bunch of sunscreens. So it's just everything put into one and this is what I came up with. Is it fantastic? Do I love it? Do I not love it? We'll find out in the video. So stay tuned. I'm actually feeling very like a YouTuber. You know what I mean? Okay, so first I'm gonna put something on my lips because it's so pale and I don't like nothing on my lips when I'm doing a video. So a lot of you ask me, what is the first thing you put on your lips all the time in your stories and everywhere? It's the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in Give A Fig. Okay, and it's completely over. I love this stuff. Like, look, it gives such a nice tint to the lips. So it's creamy, it's not too sticky, glossy, it's not sticky at all, it's just like a balm, but it's a colored balm, so that's what I usually put. So the first product I'm gonna use is a lip balm. I wanna try something new. So this is the Gloss Boss Lip Balm. It has vitamin C, E, and SPF 30. It's in Watermelon Rush. And I just wanted to try this. I put on a little bit, I didn't enjoy it a lot. Unfortunately, this is the color, so it's similar, oh, it's cherry red. It's not very balmy. It's a little gritty. I don't know why. I don't I don't see myself reaching out for this a lot. I purchased this the other day because I, it looked really nice. And you know, honestly, it is nice. I just prefer the Bobbi Brown one a little more. Mm, it's not very balmy. It's just like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just there, it's like a tint. Now we have something on our lips and we can move on to the rest of our face. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna put on my face is this one, it's by Moody. It is the Vitamin C Brightening Face Moisturizer. It's got Mandarin, Orange, and Kakadu Plum. It's like 50 ml, I've not tried this before. It says Brightening, Firming, Smoothening. It's a lightweight formula that delivers instant brightness and smooth, even skin tone. Such claims these brands give, no, I'm just like, really man, instant brightness and smoothness. Infused with olive squalane, I love squalane, we know that. That restores skin elasticity and vitamin C and kakaru plum, you can kiss that dullness a goodbye. Honestly, I just wanted to try this moisturizer. Cool, it smells really nice. It smells very mandarin orange, that's what it says. And it's good. I don't have any opinions on it right now. I feel like, would I reach out to this? I don't think so. I'm not, it's not thick enough for my skin. I really love a good thick moisturizer and that's why I use the Intensive Bond by Bioderma. And now it's slightly stinging over here. Yeah, I'm feeling like a stinging sensation only at the bottom part of my face. So I don't know what that is. Is it the fragrance? I don't have issue with fragrances. Oh, it's the last last ingredient. So fragrance, fine. And it's IFRA certified, so it's great. But I don't know. I don't think it's like, it's just stinging. 
but did it moisturize my skin yeah it did so i wanted to talk to you guys about sunscreens because i know a lot of you have been asking me about my favorite sunscreens during pregnancy and i've been using the minimalist one i really like that one but i also have been using the lacme sun expert um sunscreen this is the spf 50 um ultra matte lotion light and non-sticky for all skin types and i really like this it's pregnancy safe in my opinion because the three ingredients that are not supposed to be in your sunscreen during pregnancy is avobenzene octocrylene and oxybenzone <laughs> and none of that is in this okay so it's good and i've been using it they don't market it as pregnancy safe but then you just gotta check your ingredients and honestly i think there's too too many restrictions on pregnant women don't use this don't use that do your own research see what ingredients suit you look for it at the back and pick yourself okay don't wait for that pregnancy safe tag it's okay sometimes brands don't market it as pregnancy safe because it's a very niche marketing to do so check it yourself and i really like it dude i really like this one it's for 525 bucks the second one i recently called for is the dot and key watermelon cooling sunscreen in spf 50 and it has better vitamin d absorption no white cast so this is something also i thought i just like dot and keys packaging i think that's what most attracts me to it it smells pleasant it smells pleasant i'm putting on sunscreen i don't know why <laughs> right now i'm supposed to put a primer because i'm gonna do a full face of makeup but why not it's honestly lightweight to be honest it's not the sticky um, sunscreen it's not thick and greasy like you see there's no white cast at all which is fantastic and again this is pregnancy safe i read it's fragrance free as well even though it says watermelon cooling sunscreen it's fragrance free it's got none of the three ingredients that i spoke about so we can use it all right so i'm gonna go in with the strobe cream but before that i'm gonna do a little bit of pore minimizing situation here and for that i want to use the elf putty primer where is it um, I recently heard Tati speak about this and this was her like favorite favorite primer from the drugstore and I had this all along. So this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just gonna, I'm just using this brush for fun. I don't think I'll ever use this brush to put a primer. I'm just gonna use the brush that it came with and I'm just gonna blend it. This can be a great foundation brush also or blush brush. I love brushes like these. I mean, honestly, I've not been drawn to the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I still think the Smashbox Pore Minimize Primer is the best pore minimizing primer. There is the Benefit Professional Primer that I think is fantastic. The Color Bar Primer is great. So there are like primers out there that I gravitate towards more. Now I'm going to move on to Strobe Cream. I found this in my drawer that I really wanted to try. This is the Faces Canada Strobe Cream with Sheer Butter and Hyaluronic Acid. Love all butters and hyaluronic acid and olive squalane. Strobe your way in silver. Hmm. Silver is not my tone. I'm a little golden girl. But it's for $5.99 and just apply evenly and blend with your finger. I don't know how this came to me. I think they messed up the size. I usually have like the small one. Mm. I'm having an iced latte. Okay, it's it's got sort of a whitish feel to it. It's not even silver. I don't understand what tone this is. It's not even pumping well, you guys. Like, it's not. It's a very thick formula to have a pump like this. Where is the bottom half of, where is the straw? I'm forgetting words and stuff these days, but yeah, it's a very whitish sort of sil, no, no, no. Weird color, not understanding. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Will I reach out for it? No, absolutely not. And it's very thick to be a stroke cream. Stroke creams are very glossy. And you're supposed to look very dripping and dewy. That's what stroke creams are. Even the MAC one is. So yeah, I'm going to skip out on that one. Um, let's move on to foundations. For foundations, guys, I wanted to talk to you about this one specifically right here. This is the Aquaholic Hydrating Foundation. I like the name. Okay, now I have a problem with this packaging and I want to address it. So this is how it comes. Okay, fantastic. Love the whole sugar branding and everything. And where do I see this shade? Right here. Okay, we've got 7, 27, 10. They sent me like a whole range and I picked out like a few that I wanted to show you guys. But the first thing is you can't tell what your shade's going to be. Okay, they just have stickers on top which does not do justice to what's inside. Like look at this. This is not enough. I need to see the foundation inside. I have to be able to see the foundation. So even if they have like a little gap here to be able to see it, that would be fantastic. Because I don't know what 10 latte is. Anything could be my shade. 
I have no idea. If I'm shopping online, which is so difficult to shop for foundation shades, like I am with you on the same boat, I don't know what my shade is. And honestly, this oxidized a lot. When I was swatching it on my hand, it became two shades darker. So I'm really confused on what to use. I think um, Vienna seems like the closest. Extremely not my shade. <laughs> right next to Vienna, I'm gonna do Vanilla Latte. Oh, and they have the sponge as well, which not gonna use that. That's vanilla latte and that's Vienna. I'm gonna try Raf. See, you know what I mean? Like this is something I got in PR, so it's great. But what about someone who's shopping generally? Even in the store, you're gonna get so confused because the light is so manipulative. This is Raf. Okay, so I think Raf is like the closest I can get to my shade. So you know what? Let's just wing it with Raf. Raf it is, and then we'll see <laughs> what happens. I'm gonna mix vanilla latte, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to mix two shades to sort of like get the best of both. Yeah. I'm in between vanilla latte and raf, which is really weird. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving, I'm not a fan. It's, it's very thick when you move it around, you know, when you're saying hydrating foundation, in my opinion, it's supposed to be very lightweight and dewy on the skin, but it doesn't seem like that. It seems very thick and it sets really fast. So I have to work quickly with this um on first impressions i am not loving it i still feel my face is very cakey and thick it can be a combination of the primers the stroke cream all of it can come together there are multiple factors that play in how your base looks and that's why it's important to stick to a base that works for you i'm not a big fan of this foundation that's my verdict i think it's too thick for my liking does it have coverage yes it does have coverage for concealers i have a bunch of them right here now you know my the Huda beauty four filter concealer has been my favorite favorite concealer of all time this is in gram cracker it is such a good concealer but it's so expensive so i get that i recently bought the one size concealer in the shade medium okay this is the turn up the base butter silk concealer this is from sephora here Okay, and I'm not shocked at it at all because Patrick uh, Patrick Star does wear thick makeup, full coverage. So I'm not like, oh, it's not too thin and all. No, this is what the branding is. It's full coverage makeup. Okay, that's the brand. But it's too thick for my liking. And then we have e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I also think this is a thicker formulation in my opinion. And then we have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade in the shade medium one custard. I love a combination of the Huda Beauty and the NARS. I think they're fantastic. The Maybelline Fit Me concealer is also great. Okay, a lot of you are asking me what my concealer brush is on Instagram. It's the Sugar Blend Trend Face Brush in 006. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. My face feels very heavy. I think it's got to do with the moisturizer and the foundation was quite thick and the stroke cream was also very thick. So like my face feels very heavy in terms of the base. Again, I think the powders that are working best for me again is the Maybelline Fit Me, of course, the K-Beauty powder is fantastic. I've been loving the Givenchy Prisme Libre <laughs> powder. Of course, super expensive, but it's fantastic. It's a pink powder. It's got a couple of shades, it's got four shades in it. And then it just has a brightening effect. It's really nice. Um, and then the Huda Beauty powder is amazing in banana bread. And this is a yellow-ish powder. Again, brightening, but in a different way. It's a very good powder. And then I picked up the one size translucent powder in small, just to just try it out. This is also great, it's translucent. So it's in the middle of pink and yellow. <laughs> so I have all colors here. Very, very good for the skin, especially when you're aging and you're mature. I think the, these powders like settle well into the fine lines and it doesn't show very well it just blurs it out makes it look good mix one size and huda beauty and i'm just gonna set the t-zone baby is moving so much right now it's just getting uncomfortable i'm sure so am i i'm so uncomfortable it's kicking and rolling i, I don't think it's, it doesn't have space it's like mama get me out of here my little baby all right we're gonna let that sit for a while and we're gonna move on to the most boring parts i don't know i feel brows are damn boring <laughs> okay so i really really like the sugar arch arrival or arc arrival micro brow pencil in taupe tom this is my shade and i really like this one so if you're looking for a drugstore brow product this is fantastic see how thick and fluffy it made it it's like really good let's move on to the rest of the face i want to definitely do eyes so we can jump into that so i have some fantastically expensive but exciting products here this is the hindash 
palette so cool they sent this to me it's the monochrome man's pressed pigment palette i love hindash i love his makeup there are few people that i want them to touch my face and that's very rare one is hindash i love him I want him to touch my face, do my makeup. So let's fingers crossed and put it out in the universe. And then I want Makeup by Mario to do my makeup, Patrick Ta, Charlotte Tilbury, Makeup by Ariel. These are like on my bucket list for them to touch my face, you know what I mean? So this is the palette and it's gorgeous. It's like, he makes like multi-use products. Even his, um, I've got his color fluid right here, which is meant for cheeks, it's meant for lips, it's meant for eyes. So it's all multi-use, it's got a mirror as well. And this you can use for eyeshadow, of course. You can use for face, you can use for blush, contour, anything really. And then we have the Pat McGrath. This is so heavy, you guys. This is ultimate luxe, okay? This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Palette. Use without caution, shade throwing and eye ecstasy. So heavy, it can be like an antique showpiece. And it's got these beautiful colors. Like it is but bar barra, honey, it's barra. Like this is unreal. Like when you touch it, you know it's a fantastic formulation. I think I wanna use this all over my eyes. Super expensive mothership palette. Since it's a mothership palette, it only makes sense to use this. Alright guys, this is the final look. This is what I came up with. I wanted to do the inner corner being this champagne shade, which I didn't touch at all. So let's give that a shot. These, this quality, you guys, I am blown. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised it's Pat freaking McGrath. Wow, this is just beautiful, y'all. It's just glitter. It's so good for bridal. Just the champagne shade. I found such a good mascara. It was sent to me in PR actually. And you guys, this is the iconic London mascara. This is the triple threat mascara. It is a triple threat. Your eyelashes, you need to see this. I can just feel the brush or whatever this is grab on to my lash. It's grabbing it on and it's applying. As I'm pushing it up, it's applying product and I can feel it. This is such a good mascara, you guys. Thickens the lash, it adds volume, it's jet black, it lengthens it, it's everything you want in a mascara. It is so beyond stunning, oh my god. So now, 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 we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a bit and then we're gonna put on some lashes, let my mascara dry. Uh, for face, I want to use this one. This is the K-Beauty Contour and Highlight Pro Palette in Contour Genius. I'm gonna pick up these two shades, of course, slightly on the reddish tone, I must say. Um, yeah, slightly, it'll be good for deeper skin tones. Yeah, it's very red. I would like it to be a little more neutral in color. Uh, maybe there's shades, I don't know. This is the one I have. I like a good red tone bronzer because it, it really feels sunburnt. But I don't think this is a perfect contour shade. Like, I wouldn't contour my nose with this color because it's way too red. It's got a very burnt undertone. Um, again, fabulous bronzer, not a good contour shade. So we're gonna use, but it blends really well, I must say, like it really blended well. It was patchy at first, but it took its time and blended well. Classic, classic beaten down L'Oreal bronzer. Man, this I've been using for so long. L'Oreal makes some fantastic products, I must say. Their foundation concealer. The infallible range is mind-blowing. Their powder, the infallible powder is so good. Their bronzer is so good. Like I really, really like L'Oreal as a brand. Mass prestige, you know, it's like, it's got fabulous high-end formula and the pricing is also right, right in the center of being high-end and drugstore. Now blush, I think I wanna use this one. Let's use this, let's dive into this. Um, I'm gonna take 
this one the heartthrob shade so pretty actually i'm gonna mix the two you know what life's too short <laughs> no 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 hindash hindash i'm gonna use this like girls and boys we have to use this in our next video but this is the heartiest ultra matte color fluid from hindash this is something i wanted to try on my cheeks so good i love this color i love this bottle i love this size i love him i love everything okay so this you can use on your eyes cheeks lip everything which i love so i think i'm gonna do a little bit of cheek blush because i got a little bit of dewiness happening so let's put that on the cheek and then go in with the powder blush okay it's set really fast <laughs> because uh, yeah it's ultra mac and it's a lip it's long lasting very flattering okay let's use the powder actually i like it a lot the glitter of the pat mcgrath has fallen all over my face and i look like a nice shiny disco ball in person <laughs> I will put on some lashes, okay? But first, we're gonna put on a highlighter. So for highlighter, I had this Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And we have three shades here. This is Sunkissed Shimmer. I'm gonna pick up that middle shade. It looks very buttery. Looks, you wanna be careful. Yup, you wanna be careful. <laughs> you, can, you can tell when a highlighter is gonna be banging. Wow, that's a lot. That's, no, yeah, no. No, it's it's a bit much and the colors are just not my colors. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be... It's too deep for me. It's like golden. It looks glossy, but it's a bit much and it's not my shade. Look at my eyes. So good. So good. Look at that. Oh, wow. Stunning. Holy cow. Zah. Yeah, this is not for me. Maybe for 2016 miles, but this is not for me. It's like, uh, you can tell you're wearing makeup, dude. Like, it's very overpowering. <laughs> so, these are my lashes. Super pretty. I've been loving, loving, loving the Pinky Goat brand. Shout out to Pinky Goat. They're really good. This is in the shade Rose. I cut a lot of the front lashes. And let me come close, actually. And can you see this? It's only winged out. So, you can see the shadow work and it doesn't cover it all up. I usually like just outer wing lashes and I don't like lashes that start from the middle I'll usually cut that out and just do this which is so pretty okay for lips you guys so this is the Kiro liquid lipsticks this is in um, collaboration with Payal Singhal the designer and it's really really good I love their liquid lipstick formulas I think it's one of the best drugstore liquid lipstick formulas out there very good they've got new ginger maple 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 sugar rose blush pink coral all really fantastic shades that cater to everybody it's a great formulation great shades for everyone and then we have the k beauty liquid lipsticks which are also good i will tell you they're slightly more drying than the kiro ones definitely you can give it a shot i think they're great i love the shade range it's got pink it's got fuchsia it's got brown um, the only thing I keep finding that brands miss is a very pale nude. Like a lot of people don't bring out the palest nude. Sometimes you just need to mix that pale nude with, with the existing brown nude and it gives you a beautiful finish to the lips. So I think a pale nude is missing in most of the collections. And yeah, I think the rest of it's fine. So I'm trying to look for a pale nude in the drugstore, but I cannot find it. So I'm going to pick up this shade called Belong. No, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to mix. Okay, this is Belong and it looks light in the bottle, but it's actually very dark. So that's what I mean. I was like, I can't find a pale enough nude. I'm gonna have to use a high-end lipstick, you guys. I'm gonna use uh, the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in Sandy Beige. I'm gonna use the Hindash Color Fluid. This is what I'm kind of looking for. But we got it down. We're gonna go with a matte lip today, no glossy gloss. All right, guys, this is the final result. This is the final makeup look. I actually like it. I was not too impressed with a lot of products, to be very honest with you. The initial base products, like that sets the tone for my makeup. If my pre, like, base is not good, I just don't feel right to do my makeup. So that's why I take a lot of time to prime my face and use five, six products. I juice my skin up before going in with foundation. And so I didn't enjoy the primer, the moisturizer, even the sugar foundation, which is the alcoholic hydrating foundation did not work for me in terms of shade range as well. I think it's way too yellow. It's way too orange. It's not a very good undertone. Deeper skin tones may like it, but I don't think I found the right shade for me. Concealer 
concealer love the elf concealer i think it's something that you can get if you're looking for a better quality concealer and the rest was also fine like you know i'm not crazy about any product apart from the freaking mothership eyeshadow palette like this was the star for me it stole the entire makeup look it's gonna look fantastic in photographs and also this hindash palette i'm still yet to explore so i don't have much um, to review on that but um, the liquid fluid amazing this is one of those tutorials where I'm not like absolutely in love with any of like the makeup products a lot apart from the mothership palette so that is my final review anyway thank you so much for watching I enjoyed filming this video it's kind of very very different for me with this setup I'm trying to figure out my mic my lights it's still under progress this is the first video I have shot so let me know your comments down below what do you think Think of the blurry background I'm so blurry right now and I have to do my background yet it's not fully done apart from those two vases <laughs> but thank you so much I love you guys what did you like from this entire video let me know down below and I will definitely see you in my next video bye guys